Welcome to Deconstructing the Standards, a guide to the process of breaking down the Texas essential knowledge and skills using the Dallas ISD STRIP protocol. Having a goal in mind for what students should know and be able to do is an essential part of lesson planning. This foundational learning session will help you to deconstruct a standard using the Dallas ISD STRIP protocol by focusing on what students should be doing, how students are expected to show their understanding, and why students should perform the action outlined in the standard. In doing so, you will be introduced to the three-step TEATS-based PLC protocol that can be used to guide your professional learning community in deconstructing the standards, engaging in lesson study to make connections and articulate the relationship between the standard and a lesson, and lastly, determining the characteristics that define what mastery looks like for all learners. The Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills are the state standards for what students should know and be able to do in each subject and grade level. Each standard consists of two essential parts, the knowledge and skills statement and the student expectations. The knowledge and skills statement provides the context for the student expectations or what students are to learn. In this example, using the third grade math standard 3.7c, the knowledge and skills statement states that the student applies mathematical process standards to select appropriate units, strategies, and tools to solve problems involving customary and metric measurement. The student expectations identify the specific knowledge and skills that students must demonstrate. The letters, such as C as shown, refer to what students are expected to do with regard to a particular knowledge and skill statement. For the standard 3.7c, the student is expected to determine the solutions to problems involving addition and subtraction of time intervals in minutes using pictorial models or tools, such as a 15-minute event plus a 30-minute event equals 45 minutes. In this next example, Using the third grade reading and language arts standard 3.9 DI, the knowledge and skills statement states that the student recognizes and analyzes genre specific characteristics, structures, and purposes within and across increasingly complex traditional, contemporary, classical, and diverse texts. The student expectation states that the student is expected to recognize characteristics and structures of informational text, including the central idea with supporting evidence. Deconstructing the standards refers to the process of breaking down and understanding the standards to guide curriculum development, lesson planning, and the implementation of instructional strategies. The Dallas ISD STRIP protocol can be used during planning to deconstruct the standards by closely examining the knowledge and skill statement and the student expectations while asking three essential questions. What are students doing? How are students doing this? And why are students doing this? Now let's practice deconstructing the math standard 3.7c using the STRIP protocol. First, indicate the standard you will be deconstructing. As you deconstruct, you will need to reference the standard to ensure that you clearly understand what is expected of students. Second, determine the what. To do this, refer to the student expectation and ask, what are students doing? to demonstrate their learning. Then identify the action verb in the standard, as the action verb indicates the cognitive process students should engage in. 
Upon a closer examination of the student expectation in this standard, we see the verb determine is used to indicate what students are doing to demonstrate their understanding. The third step is to determine the how. For this step, refer back to the student expectation and ask, how are students doing this? Consider how students will determine and in doing so, with what concept and or skill will students engage to demonstrate their learning? For this standard, the student expectation indicates that students will determine the solutions to problems involving addition and subtraction of time intervals in minutes using pictorial models or tools, such as a 15 minute event plus a 30 minute event equals 45 minutes. Fourth, identify the why. To determine the why, refer back to the knowledge and skill statement and consider, why are students doing this? Why are students engaging in this action with this concept or skill? For this standard, the knowledge and skill statement indicates that students are to determine using the concepts mentioned in the student expectation in which the student applies mathematical process standards to select appropriate units, strategies, and tools to solve problems involving customary and metric measurement. Now let's deconstruct the Reading and Language Arts Standard 3.9 DI. First, indicate the standard you will be deconstructing. In this case, our standard is 3.9 DI. Second, refer to the student expectation to determine the what by asking what are students doing to demonstrate their learning. Then identify the action verb. In 3.9 DI, the verb recognize indicates what students are doing to demonstrate their understanding. Third, Determine the how by asking how are students doing this? Consider how students will recognize and in doing so, with what concept and or skill will students engage to demonstrate their learning? For this standard, the student expectation indicates that students will recognize characteristics and structures of informational text, including the central idea with supporting evidence. Fourth, identify the why by referring back to the knowledge and skill statement and asking, why are students doing this? Here, the knowledge and skill statement indicates that in using the concepts mentioned, the student recognizes and analyzes genre-specific characteristics, structures, and purposes within and across increasingly complex traditional, contemporary, classical, and diverse texts. Now that we've practiced deconstructing the standards, we can now begin to make connections between the standards and the lessons in which they appear to better understand what students should be learning to do. In studying the lesson, you should examine its activities, materials, and engagement strategies, and be able to articulate the relationship between the standard, the learning objective, and the success criteria. To begin making connections to the lesson, we first have to refer to the Instructional Planning Calendar, or the IPC, to identify the standards to be deconstructed. In this third grade math IPC, we can see that standard 3.7c will be taught as part of module two. The learning objective, or the LO, indicates what students will understand or be able to do by the end of the lesson, while the success criteria, or the SC, describes what students will do to demonstrate they have met the learning objective. On this day, the learning objective indicates that students will explore time as a continuous measurement. The success criteria indicates that students will demonstrate their learning by exploring minutes as a unit of time and measuring time with a stopwatch. 
In examining module two, lesson one, shown here, we can further see the connection between the lesson and the deconstructed standard 3.7c. A closer look at the lesson reveals the activities, materials, and engagement strategies that support students in meeting the learning objective. Now let's take a look at this third grade reading and language arts IPC, in which the standard 3.9DI will be taught as part of Unit 2. Please note that in reading language arts, standards are bundled or grouped together. This means that in addition to understanding the deconstructed standard, teachers will want to review each of the bundled standards within each lesson shown in the IPC and consider how they work together. On this day, the learning objective indicates that students are learning about classifying living things by identifying information from text features. The success criteria indicates that students will demonstrate their learning by identifying text features, explaining the information presented using these text features, as well as explaining the author's purpose for the use of these text features. In examining lesson two shown here, we can see that after reading the informational text classifying living things, students will define core vocabulary to support them in recognizing characteristics and structures of informational text, including the central idea with supporting evidence. Here we can see the connection between the lesson and the deconstructed standard 3.9DI. By understanding how to effectively deconstruct the standards and make connections between the standards and the lessons, teachers can plan and implement purposeful and impactful instruction to ensure that all students acquire knowledge and demonstrate the skills that propel them towards success.